How's it going? Jeff here from Deep Cycle Battery, San Diego. Today we're talking to you about the Severe Duty Series battery. As you recall, a while back in a couple video series, we talked, we introduced this battery to you. Well, we've had lots of history behind this battery, and we want to give you some feedback in the applications. So the, the Severe Duty Series is by Crown, an Ohio company has a 24 deep cycle size, a group 27 deep cycle size, a 31, 4D, and 8D. Since the last video, we've been putting this into RV, marine, solar, and heavy equipment applications. And uh, last was a traffic sign, uh, you know, the street signage application uh, where it gets daily use. And I can happily tell you that this battery is exceeding some top competitors that we sell here. And let's the video, the purpose of this video is explain to recap what makes this battery different from other deep cycle 24s and 27s and 31s, etc. Remember, Crown battery starts with the, the rebar of a battery, which is the grid. Crown uses a solid cast grid, which is not only a thicker grid, but it's, but it's poured, it's built better, it's poured, okay, it's a solid cast pour, and it has a facet on the uh, grid structure for the lead oxide to bond to. If, if you've never seen the way a battery is built, it's really interesting. Think of stucco going into a house. <clears throat> they start with a grid, lead oxide's a paste, and it applied to that grid. Less expensive or inferior batteries have a very thin uh, cast, grid that is not supporting the plate and everyone talks about the plate oh our plates are thicker and blah 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 that's easy to achieve if you if you take a very poor grid because the grid's expensive to make and they use a poor grid and they put the lead oxide on there it's called it's called lead over pasting they put this lead oxide on there on these poor poorly made batteries but over time whether it be a short amount of time that lead oxide will fall off the grid and into the bottom of the battery and the plate shorts out so crown uses a solid cast grid very strong rebar behind the battery. Then what they do is they take the plates, oh, by the way, they have the posi wrap, so it's like the poor man's AGM. They wrap the positive plate in an envelope separator. They take the plates and they compact them tight. Remember, what kills batteries are vibration and heat. So they take these plates, they push them together tight, they insert them into the case, and now these plates are under tension. They're still suspended in water because it's a water battery, right? Lead calcium means it doesn't gas, so we can achieve the maintenance-free um, ability of the batteries. Now, we've been using these in the different uh, applications. The most recently was the street signage application that is every day, and the batteries are performing really well. We've had these batteries in 100 degree climate. We've had these uh, batteries in low temperature climate, and they do extremely well. The one takeaway, or the one uh, disclaimer I will tell you is if you live in a climate like, let's say, Arizona, and your summers are brutal, this battery will have to be opened up and rehydrated. And for that reason, they gave you the caps on the 27 and the 31s. Because in those temperatures, you will have some evaporation. But in mild climates, it's maintenance free. So for a boat application, it's great. We sell these down in San Diego in the boats and they go right in there. It's maintenance free, deep cycle, and they last and last and last. So that's our history with the Crown battery, the Severe Duty series. You can see the yellow label is now changing, I believe, into a blue and yellow label. Same battery inside. I highly recommend it. It's so affordable and it is beating the top tier uh, other American made comp, uh, battery competitors on the market today. Anyway, hope you have a good one. That's This is Jeff from Deep Cycle Battery. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.